watchers welcome to my channel if you enjoy the reading please be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe you'll see the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side of this video if you just tap on that once you will have access to any video that i post in the future it'll come up right on your feed if this message does not resonate with you um, please look into your moon rising and Venus signs. These are general messages. They are not meant for everybody. All right, so let's get started, Virgo. Five messages for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Just lower the camera a little bit so you can see the cards here. All right, so we have air energy here. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, Virgo, so the underlining energy of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. Um, so that means that you're holding on to something, Virgo, okay? I'm not sure what it is, but you're coming, you're coming out of a hard time, things are getting better, but you're holding on tightly to something. So let's see, let's see what you're trying to hold on to, okay? So we have the Five of Swords here, which uh, again is air energy. So that can be uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Um, it looks like there was a fight that happened and either you or your person walked away, okay? And you know, you still want the fight to continue. You don't want them to go, you don't want it to end. Um, here we have the Empress. So this is somebody that, you know, uh, you really see as like, the woman of all women or the men of all men, you know, this is like top dog for you, Virgo. This is like the person that you have been waiting for, okay? So here we have the high priestess, okay? Which means that, you know, th this could be a person, you know, of a lot of intuition or you could be using your intuition here. And then we have the, the six of wands, which is communication, okay? So you may have successful communication with this person because um, this does mean success. Uh, this looks like someone that just got done fighting with somebody and they're coming back and being praised, okay? So you may, you know, it, it looks here that there was a fight. You didn't want the fight to end. You still want to reach out to, to this empress here, okay? Or emperor. It could be emperor, empress or emperor. And, you know, you use your intuition and you have success. You have success in the communication, all right? You move forward. Here we have the chariot, chariot card, uh, clarified by the um, knight of swords, okay? So you move forward. You're definitely taking action here. You do not want this to end. Even though the fight is over, Virgo, you do not want this fight to end. You're gonna take action and fight for this, for this relationship. Um, it looks like uh, your person or you do bring a lot of finances into the relationship, okay? So this is um, inheritance through uh, a partner. So this person here, this is clarified by the Queen of Wands, okay? So the Queen of Wands is someone who um, can be younger than you with a lot of wisdom or someone who's possibly older than you, Virgo. But this person definitely uh, is bringing you financial stability in this relationship. Now, to clarify the Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords. So as I said, I mean, you're not done fighting. You're picking up your sword again. You're going to take action, Virgo. Um, and I think, I, I feel like it's you. I feel like this energy is you because we have the Four of Pentacles as the energy of the reading. You don't want to let go of this, Virgo. So whatever happens, I mean, the High Priestess can mean secrets too, okay? So maybe um, something that you've been hiding comes out into the open and it causes some strife and it caused your, you know, your Empress or your Emperor to walk away, all right? So you're, you're not done fighting. And I see a lot of air here. Now, this sign here can be an Earth sign, okay? So this, we can be dealing with the Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo, all right? So you're, you're not done fighting. You, you want this person back. 
So here we have the uh, King of Swords. So, so I mean, literally, a lot of swords here, a lot of air. Uh, but air does mean conflict, and it does mean taking action. Okay. So you're gonna take at you know this again. We have the High Priestess, and clarifying the High Priestess, we have the King of Swords. Okay. So the King of Swords um, does not use his emotion. He's more strategic. He doesn't use prayer. He doesn't use emotions. He's more strategic in what he does. Okay. Whereas the High Priestess um, calls for for you to look into your inner self okay so i feel what this is saying is is you know you're going to lift up your sword you're going to take action against your person virgo but you have to do it you have to really follow your intuition on how to do it because this might be you know being you know really rushing in and being strong i mean look at how scary this dude is you know so maybe for trying to force this situation is definitely not the way to go you're not going to win um, you're going to have to look into your inner self. Again, the chariot is here, clarified by the page of cups. So you see, you see, Virgo, love is going to win the day here. Okay, charge in, but charge in, you know, see here, you charge in, but charge in with a cup of love. Okay, charge in being, um, you know, the, the page of cups represents a jovial person. Generally, it's a younger person. You know, I feel like this may be you. You may be younger. Your person may be a little bit older. Okay, so you know, come in with, with a carefree attitude and love, okay? Not like this, Virgo. Do not do not go towards your person like this. And this could be vice versa, okay? This could be vice versa. Uh, but I, again, I really feel like this is more your energy because this is something that you're, a relationship that you're trying to save and that you're trying to hold on to, okay? So if you're trying to save um, this relationship with your person, come in with love, not with, you know, not, not, don't, don't be this guy, all right? don't do that. So here we have the 10 of pentacles being, um, oh, and by the way, cups is water. Okay. So we might be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here also. So we have the 10 of pentacles being clarified by the two of cups, which is beautiful. Okay. So this person, you feel you want a deeper commitment with them. You want marriage with this person, Virgo. You want, you know, to move in with them. You want engagement. You want, you know, you want it all with this person. You know, it's financial stability, there's love, there's everything here. And, and you don't want to let it go. You don't want to let it go, Virgo. I mean, I don't blame you. It looks beautiful. It looks like a beautiful relationship. Now, clarifying the Empress here is the Hierophant. Okay, so again, this is someone that you want to marry. That this, you know, financially stable person that you love, you know, it, this is someone that you want to marry. This Empress is your everything. This person is your everything. Now here we have the Six of Cups, uh, the Six of Wands, excuse me, um, again being clarified by the Nine of Wands. Okay, so again, you're going to move forward and, and Wands does represent communication. So you're going to move forward with your communication and you're going to be successful. You're going to get through to this person. You're going to be successful. Now clarifying clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so Six of Cups is reconciliation. As you can see, you have someone handing someone else flowers there. So this could, this is, you know, reconciliation. You're going to come through. As I said, you're going to be successful with your communication. You love this person and you do not want to let them go. Regardless of what secrets came out into the open, you want this to work. Okay. Now, I feel like your person um, is very hurt by you. Okay, they're very hurt by you. Here we have the Queen of Wands, okay? And um, the Queen of Wands was, you know, remember, clarified by the Ten of... So here's your, your beautiful, financially stable, you know, Queen sitting here. And um, she looks kind of hurt, you know? And clarifying that is the Eight of Swords. She feels very trapped and she doesn't know what to do. You know, something came out into the open, Virgo. So, you know, something came out to the, into the open. And your person um, is feeling pretty hurt by you. Okay, I do see reconciliation. I do see it's going to work, but I do see it's, you know, they might walk away, Virgo. They might walk away. You know, you know, you're the one who's going to be fighting here if you want this to work because this person is, is hurt. It's really hurt. They feel to totally stabbed in the back. This person is really hurt. So if you want this, you're going to have to fight for it. So let's see what we have under here. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, you want to hold on to it. You have the Six of Pentacles, you want balance. You want to try to balance out the situation. You want to break down, you know, you want to break down the walls. You 
want to break down the walls. You want to break down this barrier. You want balance. And you're going to win because look at your charging here. You're charging here. You're charging here. You have the, the chariot. You know, you have no interest in letting this go. This is, you know, it's a beautiful love. This is definitely someone that you love. Um, and that loves you back because, I mean, she wouldn't be feeling this way or he would not be feeling this way if they did not love you. Okay, Virgo? So something is going to come out into the open. Something is going to get exposed. It will cause, you know, a little bit of separation. But again, Virgo, please keep in mind, do not fight like this. Do not fight like this. Come in with your cup of love, okay? Come in slowly. Come in kindly because I have here that you want to charge. You want to move forward in your chariot. Look at these horses. They're both... They're both galloping. They're both charging. You want to charge. You have a fear that this person is going to leave. And, um, you know, you're trying to hold on to it so tightly that you might charge. And um, you want to break. You want the balance. You want to break down that barrier. Okay? So just keep in mind to please use love. All right? So let's see what the angels have to say for Virgo. June 2019. Virgo. June 2019. What messages do you have for Virgo? June 2019. What messages do you have for Virgo? June 2019. Virgo. June 2019. Virgo. Express your love, true love, and unrequited love, okay? And the underlying energy here, Virgo, is to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So again, do not be this person, okay? Show love. Be love. Love yourself. Do not hate yourself for this secret that came out, Virgo, okay? Love yourself. Do not be, do not get all grumpy, Virgo. Come in with love. Express your love, Virgo. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Be romantic. Do not look like this guy. I cannot, I don't know, I cannot express it enough. Do not be this guy, Virgo, or this girl, you know, this girl. Do not act that way. It is true love. I told you. This is marriage. This is true love. This is deeper commitment. This is the real deal, okay? This is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Virgo, okay? The romance of a lifetime. Now, here we have unrequited love. That's not, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is how your partner is feeling, okay? Like your, your partner feels like you do not love them because of the secret that came out. And you are, that is why you are working so hard to hold on to this, okay? That is why you are going to rush forward. That is why, look at all this action, swords, 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 taking action, okay? This is why you're, you're really taking action. You need to come in with this cup of love. You need to get that reconciliation. This woman here is the love of your life. There's love here. There's financial stability here. And you're going to charge towards her. You want that, or him, excuse me. You want that balance. You know what I'm saying? You want to break down that wall. So you want victory for breaking down those walls. You need to use your intuition here, Virgo, on how to handle this. Because this is true love. This is your wifey or hubby, okay? This is true love. This is true love. Virgo. Well, if you enjoyed your reading, please be sure to like and subscribe. Again, the subscribe button is on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen so that any for, uh, future videos I post will come up on your feed. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day.